What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to our GH Tech TV and today let's do a camera review for Lenovo's ZUK Z2 Plus. It comes with 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera with flash and 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now let's quickly analyze the pictures captured through the rear facing camera. Taking a look at this picture, we can say that lighting condition is pretty good. The image has come out to be pretty sharp. Color seems to be natural and also it has nice soft background with decent bouquet effect. Now moving on to the next image, here is another instance of crisp bouquet effect giving that nice background blur. It's a little bit saturated highlighting the green color uh, but indeed it looks pretty good. Now this is normal sunset picture wherein I'm standing against the light. Turning on the HDR mode highlights the darker areas capturing the shadows and we can see that how beautiful this image has come out to be. You have that nice landscape view, equal proportions of land and sky sun shining on the plants and soil and this can literally be made as a wallpaper. I really love the HDR mode on this phone. Now here's another classic example of the ability to produce colors pretty accurately. Greens, reds, yellows come out to be good but as this image was captured around 1 pm which is definitely not a good time to take pictures we can see a little bit flare effect at the left top corner which could have been eliminated if the lighting condition was appropriate. This is a construction site and the background was like 50 to 100 meters away and if you can get the focus right on the front object then you can produce DSLR kind of pictures through this rear camera. And this is another illustration of DSLR kind of photography. So all I can say is daylight photography is great with sharper images, crisp bokeh effect, color accuracy also seems to be pretty good with added saturation. Now speaking about the low light pictures it completely performs opposite to whatever it can do in bright daylight. The images come out to be blurred, they are pretty noisy and also colors come out to be pretty bad. This image is taken with flash, so flash definitely comes in handy but it feels concentrated and when you zoom the details are not that great, either they are overexposed or they are blurred. Now here is front facing camera in daylighting condition and in low lighting condition. So guys this video is being recorded with ZUK Z2 Plus and I am walking so that you can get an idea of how stabilized the video footage is and I will quickly let you know about focusing as well. So let me get to an object and let's see if it focuses. It's kind of low light as you can see sun setting so you can get an idea of exposure as well as you can see. I will quickly let you know about focusing as well. So as you can see, it does not autofocus, for that you will have to tap and now you can see that it gets focused and I will try to focus the background now. So as you can see the foreground went into autofocus and background is in focus. Now let's try it once again, focusing the foreground. As you can see, tap to focus works but autofocus uh, doesn't work that well. So uh, that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at RTH Tech TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.